You might have heard about homeowners having issues with HOAs, but you've probably never heard anything like this. All kinds of stories out there. When one woman started to question how her HOA board was spending money, she let Joe know what happened next. Investigator Joe Ducey is here to explain. These things get really dicey. Uh, over really silly things sometimes. And like you said, we're going to get a lot of emails. About yeah. this. You know, I, I want to say up the top, there are probably a lot of great HOAs out there. I don't hear about those. <laughs> yeah. I hear about these. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? yeah, I hear about the HOAs giving violations to people who park in the street or HOAs that won't allow certain paint colors. But this one is different. Watch what happens after one woman begins her own investigation into how her fees are being spent. Let the record show that, that we have a record. And I thought, what is going on? I don't, are you willing to? A regular yeah. HOA meeting at Superstition Lakes Condominiums in Mesa turns oh, ugly. What are you trying to accomplish with all this harassment and bullshit that's, that's coming on? Are you do? trying to destroy the community that you live in? That's what that a lot of us would like to know. Yeah, I do too. I would like to know what's behind What's your purpose for being? Why don't you buy the yeah, Why don't you condo? move if you why don't? Why don't you get the hell out of here if you don't like it? Condo owner Kathleen Dario says she was hit by another owner. She recorded it all. What? Hey, help! Call the police! Turn that off. Call the police! 911! Call 911! Call 911! Oh, you touched me. I was frightened. They had kept my husband out of the meeting, and I had no idea what was going to come next. So how did a comp community get to this point? Money. Kathleen and some other condo owners here thought they were being hit by meaningless violations and not told why. So they turned the tables, and they requested financial records from the board. What did you find? Oh, my goodness. So this is what I saw as we were going through. Once they started going through the piles of receipts, invoices, and account listings, they say they started to notice some unusual purchases, all of which they say were reimbursed with HOA money to board president Michael Cassidy. I mean, they bought laundry detergent and, and almonds and vodka and baby wipes and and every, just about every time they bought air fresheners. Kathleen says she couldn't find any of these items were used by the HOA for the benefit of the condominiums. We found out that the president turned in receipts for items that he purchased in New Jersey. Not to mention the restaurants. Old Chicago's for 79, P.F. Chang's for $100, On the Border, 85, O'Sullivan's, 73, more old Chicago's, 116. He was reimbursed for those, and one of the biggest thing was they, you know, we saw 640 dollars to the salt cellar for the for the annual meeting, and there's three board members. Kathleen says she has a receipt from one restaurant showing 121 dollars spent on alcohol. These condo owners say they didn't get notice of the meetings, and the meetings could have been held in their clubhouse. And he has turned in other receipts, and been reimbursed, with no proof. That he actually paid those bills. Like this invoice from Park Pro. Cassidy was reimbursed $591 from HOA funds showing he paid the company for gate repairs. But the company later showed they never did the work. The receipt was just an estimate. We don't know where our money is. In all, the homeowners say they found Cassidy had been personally reimbursed by the HOA a grand total of $38,000 in just the last two years. After trying to vote the board out with this petition, which the board largely ignored, Kathleen testified when a fellow homeowner decided to take them to court. Good morning, we will be on the record. In court, Cassidy and his lawyer fought the allegations and explained many of the reimbursements, but continued to deny my request for an interview. Hey, Mr. Cassidy. It's Joe Ducey with ABC 15. Hi. What about all the restaurants you've been eating at and the thousands of dollars spent there? Is that a good use of HOA money? Can you tell me that? Were you using any of this for your home in New Jersey? That's what, as the uh, records seem to indicate. He only referred me to his lawyer, who denied my request again. But Kathleen and her fellow homeowners aren't stopping now. It's a rogue board, and they're dangerous. Now, the judge in the case rejected the homeowner's request for a receiver to take over the HOA's finances, but he did demand the board release all financial records to homeowners and hold a special meeting to reconsider their petition to oust the board. So, this isn't over yet. Go to abc15.com slash letjoeknow to keep up with this and all the other stories we've been working on. And I hear about a lot of problems with HOAs. What do you think? Let me know. And if uh, you need my help, call me, email me, or find me on Facebook or Twitter. And uh, Cassidy's lawyer, who's paying that bill? Yeah, yeah. yeah, you gotta wonder who's paying that bill. Yeah, uh, that's a good Thinking question. Joe, maybe. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Joe. All right.